Welcome. Going cardboard in Thailand. Day's been a really hectic day. Started out early in the morning with a boom, which we hear more often we like. And it was really weird. We had a sudden power loss and then power was restored but it seemed to us, and I had no meter to check it, none that I dug up at that time of the morning anyway, but it seemed to us that the power was low because some of the UPS units that I have in the house, they were beeping still, even though lights were on. We could see that we had power but it was still beeping like we didn't have power. And uh, the coffee pot, tried to make some coffee, that the display was going in and out of the coffee pot and it was screwed up. So the day started screwed up to start with on a screwed up basis. And uh, It's just a lot of bad things happening in one day for paradise. It wasn't so great. And uh, what did I have for lunch? I had a small amount of grilled chicken, which didn't taste too good. And I had the balance of, uh, we had omelet yesterday that we made out of, uh, like five eggs, some cheese, and about six slices, big slices of pepperoni. And I only ate half of it yesterday. I put the other half in the refrigerator, heated that up in the microwave, and it was damn good. But that's what I had for lunch. For dinner today, we have decided to have air fried middle wings of chicken and we're going to have grilled shrimp uh, we buy the shrimp fresh and then we freeze it so Noi is going to uh, let some of that defrost and then grill some up so I'm gonna have middle chicken wings and shrimp for dinner I've uh, been getting my exercise and stretching. It's <laughs> poor noise. She's had such problems lately. She always had a sore knee that she had hurt during early COVID. She hurt her knee somehow. And she always had soreness in her knee. Well, yesterday, last night, her foot was so sore she couldn't walk and it wasn't planetitis because it wasn't the bottom of the foot her foot on the side was actually like swollen and it was looking more like she sprained it but it's getting better now but the weird part about it was her foot hurt like hell but the pain in her knee that she always has was gone so the pain from her knee went down in her foot and disappeared Poor Noy, she's having a hell of a medical bout lately. But she, uh, I sent her off to this old lady who does massages down the street in Huiai that Noy found, said she's experienced. And she took an hour of massage on her lower calf and foot and it's much better now. So that's uh, going carnivore in Thailand for today. And uh, I was just watching CNBC and I was watching an interview that somebody was given. And boy, no wonder America's got an immigration problem. They have been selling the lie that America is the number one country in the world, best country in the world. They've been selling that lie for so many years. So many people believe it. 
And even though I've tried to get Noy tuned in on what's really going on, there's this worldwide fascination to come to America because it's the number one country in the world. Well, it's not number one in education. It's not number one in longevity. It's not even number one in obesity. It's not number one in math skills. It's not number one in health care quality. It's not number one in health care costs. It's not number one in education. It's not number one in happiness. Now, I could give you some exacting figures if I was at my desk and did the research on it, but it ranks like 30th and 40th in many of those categories. I mean, it's it's only number three in uh, median income of developed nations, but that's not number three in quality of life for that medium income. So maybe I'll do a whole video on that later, but that's going carnivore in Thailand today. I'm going to get back to my pool exercise here at night. And uh, it didn't rain today, uh, but then the pool pump was fucked up because of the electric going out this morning. Uh, seems as though electric here can be an issue sometime, but because of the heat and the un unseasonably hot temperatures, the news reported yesterday that Thailand used like 39,000 some odd gigabyte, giga, gigawatts of electric power. The most electric nationwide ever used in Thailand two days ago. 39,000 gigawatts worth of electric was used because it's so goddamn hot. Uh, Yesterday, it did rain a boatload, which put a lot of water in the pool and cooled the pool temperature down about 8 degrees Fahrenheit, about 4 degrees Celsius. But other than that, life is good. I noticed Noy just hopped out and sat down next to the pool. Old hop along there, so talk to you later. That's all, folks.